Yo! Hi! Welcome to week 33, 34 of our pregnancy vlog. Yes. I'm getting seriously big and my bump is getting really huge now. That's just his bump. I'm getting well. lots of kicking. That's my hunger striking. And <laughs> um, I can't wait to give birth to my 18 inch pizza later. <laughs> I was kind of like slightly worried. Enough of my bad jokes. <laughs> oh god, they're just non-stop today. Um, yeah, we're um actually after Nuri, I'm gonna go and have a look for some baby clothes for Ted in a bit. Um, I have to say, uh, thoroughly recommend Penny Stroke Primark, depending on which side of the border you are. Um, was told That's all to all our UK fans. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, was told to go in and check them out and. I'm not a snob or anything on shopping. I quite happily send Caris to Primark pennies every day to buy her stuff. But um, I wasn't really sure there'd be any good stuff. But actually, it's one of the only places you can buy decent unisex stuff. Because we don't know if Teddy's a boy or a girl yet. So, um, But they've got absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous stuff. So I I'll show you guys. Have a peep at the end of the video. Um, what else have we been up to? Um... To be quite honest, nothing's really been going on that much the last few weeks. But that bump, you know, after her brother's wedding, after Daniel's wedding, we've kind of just been um, chilling out. Yes, because I was tired. But the bump is getting almighty huge at the minute. <laughs> it is. I'll, um, I'll give you a sneaky peek again. You can have a sneaky bump shot at the end of the video. Um, on my bump at the moment, I have my ice pack because... Um, these were like eight eight quid from Boots. Very very good. Stick it in the freezer, and it's for rib burn. Any of you that have that horrid horrid pain, uh, just below the top of the ribs, um, skin going numb, feels like skin's ripping and stuff. It probably is underneath. Um, I have to say that an ice pack on it really does help. The baby doesn't move out of the way. It it, it just relieves a bit of the pain. Scott, what are you doing? I'm just concentrating on driving, I've just realised I'm on camera. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> that's the face we put when we're driving. Ah, uh, what else is going on? Um, my hands are, I know they don't look that swollen to you, but for me, very swollen, very sore joints. Um, my feet are getting the same. Now that would be edema, which is just um, fluid retention. It's nothing serious. We've six months, six months, Jesus. That uh, no, we don't. Uh, six weeks to go to um, Ted's due date. So I guess you'd expect to get some of these things. Um, and for those of you who are um, painful, who watched previous videos, <laughs> um, would know that I have a thing for pregnant ladies and baby bumps. Yes, and does. I've been quite, quite disappointed the last kind of six, seven weeks. The bumps not been going the way I want it to go. <laughs> It's but, not good enough. It's going to send it back. But right now, oh my god, shabing shaboom. 10 out of 10. Loving the bump at the minute. Yes, he thinks he thinks I'm a hot mama. Hot mama. He's loving he's loving the baby bump. But you're also loving Ted now, aren't you? And Karen now. seems to be coming around to the fact that there's actually going to be a Ted show. What, what do you mean loving Ted? I've always loved Ted. Yeah, I know, but he sent me little messages saying, I love Ted. He does, and he comes in and kisses Ted. And do you know what the cutest thing he does? Although, I think if I stick this on the end of the video, it may actually damage your ears and your love of Westlife forever and a day. There's a Westlife song, and every time we put it on, Teddy goes crazy, kicking and moving we'll, about. We'll sing to it at the end and put it on. Yeah, um, and um, Daddy's been singing the song to him recently. Haven't you? Yeah, but one big thing which is really irritating in the minute is Alexandra. It's snoring. I don't snore. Oh my god, it's like a tractor in the bedroom. It's not because he's not in the bedroom anymore. He keeps disappearing in the middle of the night. I have to get away seriously. I do not snore. My dad There's comes. No my dad comes room. round and he snores the house down. He does. We actually put him downstairs. It's that bad. But Alexandra's just as bad as me. I cannot ever be as bad as Meg. You are just. There's only your mother that's as bad as your father at snoring. Well, no, I'm not. I'm being serious. I'm going to film it tomorrow. I'll stick that on the end of the video too. Yeah, but there's going to be an awful lot at the end of this video, isn't there? Baby bumps. You. But see I've been camping on. I've been camping on the sofa. <laughs> I can still hear the snoring from there. That's such a lie. That's just not true. But Alexandra, are, are you missing me? Uh, yeah. I she do. keeps. She keeps nagging me to. Um, we have sleepovers. He comes and he like. 
um, sleeps over. He, he sleeps over for as long as he possibly can before I fall asleep. And uh, allegedly. Before the factor in the bedroom starts to get in here. <laughs> Ow, don't make me laugh, it hurts. It really hurts. Oh, oh. and I might wet my pants as well. Yeah, Ooh. there's another side effect to pregnancy. We watched the in between us the other night. Sponsored by Tenor Lady. It was it was good, but it was bad. It's like all of the indignities of pregnancy, and um, I think Scott's finally realised that it's quite a taxing process for any woman to go through. And he's I like, I already realised. I already knew that. Yeah, but even you're now saying maybe we'll just stick with just Teddy, aren't you? We are just sticking with Teddy. Yeah. No matter how hard you find me. That is such a... Oh, yes. How many more of your offspring I want. But no, he was like, yeah, we should have another one. Oh. No. No. Teddy is unique. Yes. I think um, we should definitely call it a day after this because... But for those, for those who don't know, um, Alexandra's actually 10 years older than me, so she's actually coming. <laughs> oh, boy! She's actually coming to the he end of her career. He looks at least 20 years older than me. I've got a lot of wigs still inside me, so... Oh, no! I'm just thinking of the list of people that I know watch this video, and they're all going like this. Ew! Too much information. I apologise if you're watching your, um, your in your tea at this time. I just apologise, full stop. But this is Scott, honestly. And I'm uh, chasing, I'm a nice guy, really. chasing him out the house earlier to come out. He like comes downstairs with a pair of pants on, which have a stain on and other stuff. And just, you know, I'm just like, if I have a boy, I know that this is exactly what we're going to be getting. All right, little scruff bag. Yeah, because Alexander's the most tidiest person I've ever met. At least my clothes, <laughs> clothes are okay. It's got dog hair on it right now, <laughs> And my hair. But now I can just see that um, if Teddy's a little boy, that he's going to be just like Daddy. An absolute hit with the ladies, but just clothes everywhere and just generally a little horror bag. And probably every time I dress him, he'll be undressed within seconds. It's like we work from home as you know and uh, my workaday outfit at the moment is pajamas and scott's workaday outfit is t-shirts and an underpants set t-shirt if you're lucky yeah i'm glad that was t-shirt if you're lucky not just the underpants if we were lucky because that's like really weird but he has even tried that actually haven't you what sorry i was concentrating naked before. working naked work yeah you There's did a picture of somewhere. Yeah, there is. Ooh, maybe it should stay hidden. Hey, if we lived in a sunny country, I'd be a big nudist, so... <laughs> what are you giving It's great to be feel-free. Oh, oh. It's you only human get, nature, you know? You see what you could do. All them see. thousands of years How ago, no one, no one ever had any clothing, Alexander. Yes, that. they did, didn't they? Yes. Cavemen had clothes. They had very good clothes. I'm going to gag you. Do you just stick to wearing your Las Vegas t-shirt, Sonny. So there you go. So that's week 33, 34. Oh, we've got a scan on Monday. And then they're going to decide if my placenta is still low. And if um, we have a sunroof job. Or if we have a natural birth. So um, And um, I'm hoping Alexandra goes in hospital for the last few weeks for a bit of respite. And all you guys invited my, uh, around to my house for a uh, last few weeks of freedom for Scott. Alright? No. Drinks are all on you, though. Bring your own drink, bring Scott one, and uh, we'll just have a good time. That makes you sound really bad, you do know that, don't you? What? That you would want me to go to hospital for resting. She's not really, I'll be there every night anyway, so unfortunately there'll be no party. Lucky me. Ah, uh, right. But so I only want you to go to hospital, you know, because you kind of do need the rest. No, I'm fine at the moment, thank you. Yeah, well, we'll see what the uh, midwife says. Nag, nag, nag. Uh, yeah, so bye for now, guys. And, um, yeah, keep watching for Scott singing. It's legendary. Bye. Bye. Yeah. So I can stand on mountains. Now the Teddy can't hear you. You raise me up to walk on stormy seas. I am strong. 
but I am on your shoulders. You raise me up. Oh, Teddy, give me a kick! Woohoo! Sure, I just hit. What? You ready, Teddy? Big Daddy. chorus coming up. Daddy's gonna sing. He is he's wide awake now. Every time. Let's go! Sing. Let's go! Ow. You raise me up. So I can stand on mountains. You raise me up to walk on stormy seas. I am strong, but I am on your shoulders. You raise me up to more than I can breathe. Teddy, that's for you.